Hey guys, welcome back. Today in the Untidy Artist, we are making the May Birthstone Flower Fairy. Uh, the birthstone for May is an emerald, which is one of my favorite gemstones. I think this doll turned out so beautiful. Um, this is part of a series that I started in January. So if you missed the previous birthstone fairies, I will have links for those below. If you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It helps me out so much and it helps me know what videos you guys like to see and helps me plan on what videos to do in the future. Let's grab some supplies and get started. Now, the first thing you're going to need is a flower. And spoiler alert, there are no emerald green flowers out there, at least at any of the craft stores in my area. So we are going to take a rose and spray it. So this is a holiday green spray paint that's made specifically for silk flowers and uh, crafts like that. And then we're also going to use this glitter spray and between those two colors, it'll give us the emerald green that we need for her skirt. Then I have some metallic kind of champagne colored thread and an emerald green thread that will match her dress. I've got some little tiny Swarovski crystals. So I'm using the birthstone Swarovski crystal set to kind of keep this series uh, consistent. And I've really loved incorporating these into the different fairies. I've got some E6000 glue that I'll be using to apply or to attach the crystals and a little toothpick, sharp pair of scissors, and of course my trusty glue gun set on low because it's easier to work with the glue. And then we'll need a fairy doll. If you're new to making fairies, you want to check out my basic tutorial where I take a wooden bead, some floral wire, and some embroidery floss for the skin and the hair and twist it into this beautiful little doll. Now, I recently came out with a skin tone tutorial. I will link that below as well. So if you want to give your doll a different skin tone, you can. But in that basic video, I take you step by step in how to make this doll. Now you can see I've already given her a hairstyle. This is um, some space buns. It's probably my favorite fairy hairstyle because it reminds me of my daughter Gabe. And I just think this turned out so cute. So um, you can obviously style her hair however you'd like. I'll put links for other hair tutorials below. First, we're gonna dress our doll. So grab that emerald green thread. I put a small dab of glue right by her waist and I'm going to wrap right to underneath her arms. She's going to have a strapless gown. So I just evenly wrap up. Once again, I go through this uh, dressing your doll in more details in that basic flower fairy tutorial. So I wrap up to the very top and this is what we've got so far. And then I'm going to take that champagne colored thread and just wrap it right around the top a few times. So this is like three, um, going around three times with that thread. Then we're gonna set her aside and we're going to get our flower ready. So this one actually came apart really easily. It hardly had any glue holding it together. And we're going to take the flower. I grab a cardboard box and I'm just gonna lay my flowers in the box. Now what we're going to do is spray with the holiday green first. So I'm gonna give the underneath side of the petals one coat, and then I'm gonna flip them over and spray two coats on the other side, and I'm going to let them dry completely. So after one coat on the underneath side of her dress and then two coats on the top part of her dress, this is what our petals look like. And then I'm going to take that glitter blast and I'm just going to put it on the top layer. So uh, you wanna keep in mind the way that the petals are going to lay. You only need to spray the glitter on what will be the top part of her skirt. And ta-da, we have perfect emerald colored petals. I really loved how these two colors work together to give us the perfect emerald color. Then I'm going to grab my petals and layer them together and just kind of start playing around with how I want her dress to lay. I hold it up to my doll and once I've decided the order I want them to go in, I'm going to cut an X into the center of each petal so we can slide the petals up and around our doll's waist. And then starting with the top layers, we are going to slide them up and around her waist. So I kind of start arranging them as I go. You want the petals to overlap nicely so she has a really pretty full skirt. And once I have it kind of arranged the way I want it, I'm going to grab my glue gun and start adding small dabs of glue in between each layer. What we're doing is attaching the skirt to our doll. So just little dabs of glue and I arrange as I go. I'll hold her up, kind of look at it, see if I like how it's laying. I do that in the front 
and in the back. And this is what we've got so far. And then we're going to give her some gloves and shoes. I do have a glove and shoe tutorial. I will link that below. I'm using this dark emerald that we use, the same thread that we used for the top part of her dress. And I'm going to give her some shoes and then a pair of gloves. And I always feel like this just finishes off the fairy and makes her look really fancy. So she has her shoes and her gloves. And then you'll want to style your doll's hair. Once again, I will put a bunch of different hairstyle tutorials below. Um, I really love how the space buns look with this style of dress. I think it turned out really cute. And the last thing we need to do is add our emeralds. So for some reason, I'm gonna add one right at the top of her dress and three on the side of her bun. And it did not film when I put the one right at the top of her dress. So I just put one of those crystals right over the champagne uh, thread. And then I'm going to take the other three and I'm going to put small dabs of this E6000 glue right where I want the crystal to go. And then I use my toothpick to help me get the crystal and um, attach it onto her hair. And these little crystals are so tiny and difficult to work with. Uh, I spill them all the time. I drop them different places and then spend forever looking for them. And these kept falling all over the table while I was attaching them. So you can see me kind of fighting with the Swarovski crystals here, but I do eventually get them all into her hair. And that's it guys, we're all set. Happy birthday to all of my May birthdays. I'd love to hear who you are in the comments below. I'd love to know what you guys think of this doll and if you've been enjoying this series so far. Uh, she turned out so fun. I am really excited about next month's Birthstone Fairy. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. If you want to share your fairy dolls, you can do that with the hashtag untidyartistfairydoll on Instagram and kind of follow along in my crazy life. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. I love hearing from you guys. I love seeing your beautiful fairy creations. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you next time.